This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories on this Friday. A major freeway closure will be impacting traffic from the South Bay through downtown this weekend. Starting tonight at 9 o'clock, traffic on the northbound 5 will be reduced down to one lane along a six-mile stretch starting in National City. That closure will allow Caltrans to finish repairs to a busy freeway bridge. There are some concerns rain could delay those repairs. NBC7's Audra Stafford talked to Caltrans about how they plan to keep things running on schedule. The bridge they'll be working on is along Interstate 5 right here near Balboa Park where the 5 goes over the 163, but the actual closure will take place several miles south of here. Starting at Harbor Drive, traffic on northbound Interstate 5 will be gradually reduced, eventually getting down to just one lane near where the 5 meets the 15. This will allow crews to continue to make repairs to that freeway bridge, which was built more than 60 years ago and has been showing its age. Earlier this month, traffic was shut down in the southbound direction so crews could repair and replace the bridge deck on the southbound side. This week, they'll work on the northbound side of the bridge and do inspections and maintenance on other hard to reach areas along the northbound five. Last time, they were able to wrap things up and open the lanes earlier than planned, but Caltrans says that may not be an option this time around. Ideally, we'd like to, to be able to, to finish as soon as possible. I mean, that's our goal and kind of open up the lanes. Uh, but certainly we want to be aware, everyone to be aware that, um, you know, there are weather conditions that, we, that could have an impact. And, uh, and we're mindful of that, but that would be our ideal goal. I asked Caltrans what they're doing to prepare for the possibility of rain. They said if necessary, they can use some plastic tarping to protect that concrete as it is curing. They said they also build extra time into their work schedule so that if there are any weather delays or delays due to any other reasons, they can still get the project finished on time as planned by five o'clock Monday morning. Reporting along Interstate Five in Balboa Park. I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. Cal State San Marcos is reporting a higher than usual number of sexual assaults on campus. Five instances have been documented since the start of the semester. Two of the cases happened between people who knew one another. San Marcos tells us the assaults are being reported at on campus housing sites. More housing was added this year, which they believe could be contributing to the higher number of assaults. We never want to hear that this happened, but if it does happen, we want to make sure students have the information and resources that they need to have support uh, and to know what to do next. At the start of school, students were required to do an online training called Not Anymore. It is a sexual violence prevention course, and if students do not complete it by the deadline, they will not be able to register for the next semester. The school is also notifying students by email every time an incident like this occurs. Honor Flight San Diego left for the nation's capital today and on board. You see there are 87 veterans from World War II, Korea and Vietnam. They'll be touring Washington, D.C., visiting various memorials around the capital this weekend. That group is expected back on Sunday just after 1 p.m. and the public is invited to greet them upon their return at the airport's Terminal 2 baggage claim. Thank you for your service. Today, the Navy's only remaining F.A. 18 Hornet Squadron will be deactivated at MCAS Miramar. The service is moving into the future with F-35C Lightning Fighter Jets. MCAS Miramar will hold a ceremony this afternoon to commemorate the crucial role the Hornet line played in training naval aviators. Meteorologist Ashley Matthews joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Ashley. Hello, happy Friday to you. Hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. We do have some gradual clearing happening for the coast and inland valleys. A little bit more sunshine for this afternoon, but a rain chance uh, for this weekend for the coast, inland valleys and mountains. It's going to start late, late tonight for the overnight hours through Saturday and then also Sunday morning. Cooler temperatures too. wind advisory for the mountains and deserts as well. Here's a quick look at your uh, highs for today. Upper 60s at the coast, mid 70s for the inland valleys, low 70s for the mountains, 96 for the desert. It'll be a cozy weekend. Thank you. If you're feeling the pain at the pump, oh, you're not alone. Gas prices continue to soar here in San Diego and across California when we could expect to see some relief. And 250 small pets sent from San Diego Humane Society to an Arizona shelter still missing. Why the Humane Society could soon take legal action. That's coming up. Stay with us.
Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. We are continuing to keep a close eye on those surging gas prices in San Diego County. Prices jumped another five cents overnight, putting the average at six dollars 25 cents per gallon. That puts us just 18 cents shy of last October's record of six dollars 43 per gallon. If prices keep rising at the current rate, we could reach that record soon. In the past month, we've seen averages go up 89 cents. We've been following the mystery of what happened to those two 250 small pets. They were transferred from the San Diego Humane Society to another shelter in Arizona. 318 critters were transferred at the beginning of August, and now the San Diego Humane Society is demanding some answers. They sent a letter to the HSSA last week, and the response did not give them peace of mind about the whereabouts of those pets. I've cried about it at times, um, just not really knowing what happened with them. But I can tell you one thing, no matter what, we're not letting this drop. So the CEO of the HSSA in Arizona said an unnamed private shelter found homes for all of those animals, but hasn't shared proof with anyone. This week, the outrage spread to Tucson, where protesters camped out outside the offices of HSSA's board chairman. Meanwhile, Dr. Weitzman says they're hiring a private investigator and taking legal action. A controversial proposal to build a mega church in Del Cerro is moving forward. It's now been approved by the Planning Commission. Here's a closer look at where exactly it would be built. A congregation called All People's Church bought this land right where the College Avenue meets the Interstate 8. The congregation plans to build a 54,000 square foot church and a 71,000 foot parking structure on the site. But many neighbors, they're not happy about the plan. They're worried about how it will impact traffic in that area. Some told NBC7 they also feel misled because the church bought the land after it was approved for single family residential use. The proposal now goes to the full council for approval. A new exhibit is coming to SeaWorld. It's called Jewels of the Sea, the jellyfish experience. So take a look at this. That tube in the middle will have jellyfish swimming up in there for a close up view. There will be four different types of jellies on display and they're expected to offer tours where some guests can even touch the jellyfish. No word yet on when it will be open, but SeaWorld says 2024 past members will get a chance to see it before anyone else. Meteorologist Ashley Matthews will have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response is dedicated to helping you. You guys were able to get a different result. I have so much gratitude. Whether it's in Spanish or English. We're one team. One team. Investigating, getting answers, making sure every phone call, every email gets a response. Because this isn't just our job. This is our community too. And we're here to help. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response. One team fighting for you and your money. Happy Friday to you. Ashley Matthews here with a look at your weather for today and for the weekend, of course, because we are almost there. We do have a chance for some rain this weekend for the coast inland valleys and mountains especially. Uh, it's going to be pretty light rain, but it could accumulate to almost a half of an inch for the mountains and higher elevations. So mostly happening on Saturday, overnight tonight, Saturday through Sunday morning as well. Here's a quick look at your forecast. Upper 60s for the weekend for the coast, mid 70s today for the inland valleys. Thank you. It is the best time of year for beer lovers. This weekend kicks off Oktoberfest and here in San Diego, two of the biggest festivals begin today. La Mesa's Oktoberfest is celebrating its 50th year. The three day events, not just for adults, in addition to three beer gardens, German food and live music. There are kids activities and docks and races. It's free or you can pay for a VIP experience. In El Cajon, it's the first of two three day weekend celebrations. The ticketed event is for ages 21 and up. There will be an opening day parade and the crowning of the Oktoberfest Queen. We have more coverage you count on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching on this Friday. Have a great day.